Hello everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. Today I'm going to show you a few things about the Security Safe plugin in WordPress. And it's a fairly new security plugin, uh, but I like it a lot because it doesn't use a lot of resources and it has a lot of interesting features and it is being actively developed. We're going to start by just installing it here. I'm in a brand new WordPress site. Just click on plugins, click add new, and I'm going to do a search for security safe. And you see here, it's at the top results here. Security safe developed by Sovereign Stack LLC. Click install now. And click activate. So now that the plugin is active, I just want to show you some of my favorite settings. So click on security safe. You'll notice here that there are these switches throughout the plugin where you can just disable all the settings you may have currently configured. If you're having issues or you're doing troubleshooting, you can just enable and disable as you go. And if you'll check here under the Privacy tab, again, you have a switch to enable and disable the features. But one thing you'll find interesting here is that this plugin can hide your WordPress version. As you may or may not know, if somebody inspects the code on your WordPress site, um, in many cases the WordPress version will be visible in the actual code of the site. And this can pose a problem if you have an older version of WordPress or a hacker knows a certain exploit that's in a certain version. Uh, they can scan your site and see if you have a vulnerable version installed. And of course, you'd always want to be on the newest version of WordPress, but in some cases, people may hold off if they have certain plugins that they're bringing up to the a new standard, or for some reason, they may have an older version currently installed, and they're currently updating it. Uh, so you can just go ahead and hide that by checking this option, which is enabled by default. I think that's a nice feature. We click in the file section here. And you'll see here it says updates are one of the main culprits to a compromised website. So here you can opt in to various automatic updates. And you'll see here there's even an option to do automatic nightly updates to the WordPress core files. Uh, so this uh, is recommended you only do that in development because that could potentially break your site depending on what kind of plugins and code you may have in your theme. And of course you can apply automatic plugin and theme updates. And another feature I find interesting, which is also enabled by default, is you can actually disable editing of your theme, which is definitely a good idea to have that enabled. And you see here, while we're still under the files section here, there's different tabs. And you can actually take a look at the file permissions that are on various files in your site. So these are the core files. You'll see here 644 permissions are deemed good. And you can actually upgrade that to 600, which is even more secure. And click Update Permissions. You'll see now that file is now 600 and it has the secure designation under the status. See here we even get a, a notice that file permissions were successfully updated to 600. And you can do this for your theme and plugin files as well. Here are theme files for the 2017 theme. And even file uploads, files that you've uploaded to your server, you can secure those as well. You'll see here if we click on the content section, 
This is very interesting. It is um, subtitled here, Deter Visitors from Stealing Your Content. You can actually disable text highlighting and disable right-clicking on your site. So if you are worried that people are um, copying and pasting your text onto their site, uh, you can crack down on that using these settings. And always make sure to click Save Settings when you're done. So that's just a quick run through of the Security Safe plugin. It's one of my favorite security plugins for WordPress. And uh, I hope you may find this valuable. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.